And welcome back. This is Coketown for another War Rights event. And we have a new season for the House Divided campaign. The Union surrendered in the last one um, for multiple reasons, but they surrendered either way. So the South won that time, but they decided to fight the war again. And in this time, they have decided to fight once more felt weird without my to the west of Petersburg Agreed. on the big map. And it is... For this map, on map 1 is Maryland Heights, 102 for the attacking CSA, 113 for the defending Union, so slight imbalance there. Not too, not too bad. We'll see if some more guys pop in a little bit later. They got started pretty early here. Um, we'll see if I can take a look at, like I said, this uh, is HL is attacking 9th Corps' piece, supported by 19th Indiana, just west of Petersburg in Virginia. And on the Union team here, we have 9th Corps, led by really Prattley. I don't know why. As well as... Kage. Let's see here. Kage. I can't quite Kage. make it out. Brutus Fish. There we go. Then we've got NYV, led by Parker. Lab. Let's see, we've got 19th Lab. Indiana, led by Lab. Motorheart. Right. We've got Captain Hood, Lab. leading the 42nd, oh, yeah. joined by Kilroy. we got 1st Sergeant Caddy, leading the 83rd. Go around me, go around me. Let's see, do we have anybody oh else? Oh my god. Shut up. So we've got 19th Indiana, we've had 9th Corps. Uh, did we miss anybody? Is that everybody? Oh, we have 79th uh, led by Ricks as well. Oh my God. Yep, that is everybody on the Union team. Let's see if we can see the CSA team now. There is no Artie on this map, so... If I do miss you, I do apologize. Let's see, they have IVB led by Jeff Knight. My puppy! And Complex. Then we have HL led by Mr. Wilkes. Where were you? I hear joined by 20th New York CJH. Let's see who else we got here. We got PB led by Bocephus. Joined by Knight leading this 10th Tennessee. We've got MWB Remember, led by boys, Major Velkine. The 4th right. West Virginia You're led by Lightburn. Doomsday here, by the way. And I believe that's everybody. Oh, we also have Targray from the SR. I believe that's everybody. Uh, I. Did I say Lightburn from the 4th West Virginia? I know they're in here somewhere. Yep, there he is, right there, if I didn't mention him. All right, so, as I said, we have a Maryland Heights map. It looks like the Union has opted to go for the top of the hill. This is the first battle of the new campaign, so we'll see how they uh, they go. Looks like the CSA is going to try to meet them there, although they are sending one unit here in the form of the IVB around towards point. We'll see if they're going to go for an early cap or if they're just trying to get in position to do so. Flag over here. Once you got all your stuff, once you got all your yeah, stuff. Yeah, British. That's on you. British. Play with the flag bearer. What? Yeah, right. Alright, just reminder, guys. Super realistic. Harley, I'm scared. I don't like any of this. It's actually sucking, bud. Absence of positivity. Think about Arkeen. I'm doing it for him. Yeah, yeah, for Arkeen. Walking north, bro. Where did you go? Oh, Get back on, sprint to catch up. Still have IVB position down there. Getting ready for, it looks like, possibly to cap, maybe to intercept or get reinforcements. The Nas, the Bedrock. They're pretty. We have the high ground now. What did somebody ask me to do? We are at 41 minutes so far. Not a shot has been fired here as both teams get into position. And there goes IVB getting the first shots of the war in against, looks like, the NYV. And Mr. Parker. And the rest of the Union line is starting to open up here. Ninth Corps, listen in Discord, not in game. Load and hold. Hey, they're right out in front out of you. Oh, Pass those rocks. Pass the rocks. I'm ready. Right there. Hard cover, boys. Get off. Take aim. Take aim. Take aim. Take aim. Smoke at the smoke. That north, north. Check. Check. And it looks like another unit has come down here to deal with the 42nd, uh, deal with the IVB. In fact, it's the 42nd. A nice volley by them. They have knocked down the flag, but that is a major unit to uh, 
take out of the fight up top here early on. Use cover, gentlemen. I ran too far. Just went fucking flying. Oh my god. Another volley from the 42nd coming in there. Again with that flag respawn time, it takes quite a lot now to knock you up, and you have a very strong force here. Moving up, here comes Knight with the newly named 10th Tennessee, formerly the 8th Jordan. Take it! A nice volley from the 10th Tennessee here, hitting into the 19th Indiana. Response from the 19th coming back in. CSA seems to be in no rush at the moment. Now keep in mind, this is the opening engagement, so they may be trying to extend out the uh, the battle to maximize uh, ticket losses. Uh, the uh, Ninth Corps is supported by the 19th Indiana, so they will share casualties. But the CSA may be trying to uh, pad out the round a little bit and get some additional casualties. On Parker. So Parker's moving the NYV back up a bit. Now you do have this advanced position here by the 79th. No, he died. Check. You did the right floor. And it looks like the 42nd has chased off the IVB. They are falling back. Now it's going to be very important here for Hood to recognize up, up, up. this and Look, move up uh, left here. I'm sorry, up back up right. In fact, he is getting to move here. But we'll see if the attack goes off before yeah, it gets up there. Here, CSA has not launched it yet. So that diversion may not have ended very much. As you can see, neither side has really uh, punched in yet. Now, if you're seeing this and you're wondering what this game is, this game is called War of Rights. It is available on Steam for 30 U.S. dollars. It is a first-person shooter for the Civil War, specifically the Maryland campaign. And each one of these players is an individual player, so if you would like to join them, you can purchase the game and join in on the action yourself. Now, this event, this is a private event, though. This is called the House Divided Campaign. As I've been mentioning some things, there's actually a meta part of this game played on Tabletop Simulator in which all the unit, all these units have pieces on the board and they maneuver them around. So this is the 9th Corps piece supported oh, by the 19th right, Indiana right. piece. So here's 19th Indiana, and here's 9th Corps. And they are actually uh, being attacked here by HL's piece, these these uh, individuals right here. And the event plays every uh, Saturday at 8 p.m. EST. Uh, we can so take it. There's a link in the Fuck description yeah. if you have a yes, unit that may want to uh, participate. Um, you can apply. Um, it is. Um, Line, be ready. You do have to be accepted into the campaign, just as a heads up. But um, if it looks like something you want to get into, um, highly recommend it. And if you're a new player or a veteran player, um, whatever your status is, and you're looking for a regiment, I have left links to all these regiments in the uh, description with all the Discord links. That's how you sign up. And so you too can join any of these regiments and get into these events. If the, uh, Strike your fancy if you see one of these groups here that like man, these guys are pretty cool. And here we go, here we got a charge. Wilkes out front, here we go. 83rd is on the flank, looks like they'll be bearing the brunt of this attack. It's gonna be key for the uh, Union to collapse in on this attack here. Charge now. Ninth Corps moving in. Here's the NYB and the 42nd both charging in. There's Lewis Parker. Dueling pistols going in. Kill them all. Kill them all. I know you are. The problem here is right now the CSA. Here we go. We've got IVB on this back side. They're going to have to reverse and finish this up very quickly here. Keep going. Keep going. They might not have realized that there's still a sizable CSA force over here. In fact, Hood is trying no to worries, encourage man. the other team to attack forward. 
And you have yeah, a good portion of here. these troops down here. I got 12, Stay together and have this spawn back here, guys. Come on, turn around. But okay, Ow. now the Union is turning around. To finish this off here. But they have been uh, pretty scattered here. And Knight is just... execute. Jeff Knight is executing them as these guys try to come up. They've finally been hit. But the uh, CSA has gone. It looks like their flag's out of there in time. While the Union will reconsolidate at the top of the hill, you do have a small element down here under Lightburn in the 4th West Virginia. I think uh, he's a scout out here with his small team passing intel the main elements. And right now, I think he might be telling him the point is open. And they may be looking to reconsolidate and fight on point as the next set of the battle. We will see what the Union decides to do. If they try to hold on the hill or if they try to contest it on point, uh, we do not know. As far as morale state, that was about an even exchange, to be honest with you. No real difference. We are at 33.50 on the clock. And we got Captain Hood trying to scout a little bit, as is CJ from the 20th. And there is steam chat in this game, so uh, both teams are able to communicate regardless of space. I'm joking, I'm joking. In real time. Stupid. Now, if you like these kinds of videos and you'd like to see more, uh, there is a subscribe button on the bottom right of your screen. That's blue. That was blue. So if you would like to subscribe and uh, see more of these videos, I post try to post every week um, for different events. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, go ahead and hit a subscribe. Um, also, for the video itself, you know, like, uh, comment, share it. Always appreciate any support. Help the channel grow. And hope to give you more uh, content as we go, if you guys enjoy it. And then, you know, too, uh, let me know what you guys are thinking about it. You know, like, what do you like here and what do you don't like here? And what am I doing well? What do I need to improve on? Just to kind of help guide me and know what I focus on to get the best product to you guys for these events. Now, I do hit the, uh, you probably noticed I hit the uh, the flag button quite a lot. So it doesn't make it as cinematic. I do this especially on these uh, wood maps here so that the units... Uh, when they're reviewing this later, it's kind of tape. They understand um, what happened and why it happened when they might not have otherwise known. So, Speaking of, it looks like Wilkes is back on the attack here. He's leading the way with most of the force. There's only a tiny force left out here. Fort West Virginia's over there, and then you have the PB who's kind of going in the center. You do have some Union over here, but not a lot. Who is over here? It is 42nd. They're about to deal with the front of the entire CSA force here coming towards point. Oh god, he's dead. Gents, they are one tick right in northwest. They are going to need more than just the 40 seconds to stop all Hey, they're moving right. They're moving up the hill. See if I can get an angle. It's always tough on this map. Now, I would say a difficulty right now is it might not be because they might be able to concentrate fire, but you are giving the Union a lot of time to react. Here comes reinforcements from the Modal on the 19th Indiana. It's moving down. And you also had a forward zoo, move zoo, here. Zoo, Who is this? Zoo, Ninth Corps zoo, zoo, doing forward and hitting the BB over here. Right in yeah, a nice little Z, uh, Z, Z, Z. attack Z, Z. here Z, Z. by the Ninth Corps. Anybody else see these flooding tonight? Here comes Motohaw in the 19th Indiana trying to get into the flank of the CSA, but they are now charging into this Union. Do they have enough to hold them? IVP's coming in. They need more help than this. Here comes Parker in the NYV. Will they be enough to save the 42nd? They need more support, I think. Um, but they're getting delayed. Here's IBB delaying the 19th Indiana. And you still have a lot of Union troops up front. Now back over here. Who's this back here? 9th Corps moving down. 83rd moving down. A lot of troops out of the fight right now. And that has enabled the CSA to really get a foothold here. And in fact, they're not even charging towards point. They're charging down this way. That's going to give HL more time to get their flags up and get into position. They're charging in the wrong direction. They're charging over here. Good job, boys. You're not in the fight right now. I hate to tell you this. You need to not knock that out before the CSA get embedded. Back on one army. Let's go, boys. Get the one army over here. You need to move against that right now in force before they get hold. All right. North. Coming all the way that up, is your up. only chance. 83rd starting to move in. From the north. 
but they are the only ones. The Union is too spread out. 19th Indiana, 19th Indiana is separated, as is Parker and his boys. Well, Parker's now going in. 19th Indiana's still not moving in, though. This is going to be very close. It's going to come down to a few men. Now 19th Indiana came in. Good job by Motohar getting his men in there, finally. Not finally, but getting his men in there uh, when he needed to. And frankly, I don't know why 83rd didn't go in either. Looked like some of their elements were, but not all of them. Now here comes the secondary attack. That's why you need to secure it with your maximum... You still need, you still got support up here that needs to move down. Oh shit, yeah. Who's this over here? Rix is over here, kind of just trying to snipe some reinforcements coming down. And the Union has opted to attack forward, trying to buy time for these reinforcements from Maine to get up here. We'll see if they could do it. That's probably the best move, I think, led by Prattley in the ninth That's good. Call off. We're done. We're done. We're done. Fall back. Good job. And Rix went in as well. Good work. So that was a good, another good little attack here by Ninth Corps. This is their piece, and they seem to uh, want to win it. Let's go, Ninth Corps. Right now on tickets, let's see here. What do we have? About even, 28 minutes remaining. I'll tell you what, Ninth Corps has been, uh, been putting in some work. The key is always support your friends. Don't let them get isolated and, and destroyed. You might want to be like, okay, I want to get my manpower back. It doesn't matter if the enemy is going to fight you. With these flags now, with these respawns, they get men back so quickly. If you don't wipe them out, it doesn't matter. You got to, you got to, you know, you got to overwhelm it. You have to knock out their respawns. Or else they just come back at the same strength they were. And anything you would have done is doesn't matter. Now the CSA is pulling back a little bit, doing some long-distance shooting. Um, concentrating their force now. We'll see what Wilkes wants to do next here. Um, he's not in a bad position. Um, you know, it's, 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 he's a little bit behind on time and a little bit behind on pickets. But he is massed together, and he still has his flag. So we'll see. Maybe he goes for a, a move up to uh, the top again, or maybe he makes another play on point. We'll see what he's thinking here. Personally, I might leave a cup force down here to try to distract the Union, maybe like a uh, like an MWB or a 4th West Virginia, and make another play for the top of the hill and just, you know, rotate this and try to find a weakness. The main thing is keep up the, uh, you don't want to lose momentum. So you've concentrated, and that's good, but you don't want to lose momentum. And actually, here comes Knight. He's moving up as well now. Wilkes is once more in the lead, though, oh, God, tree. and he's going to come straight Another in. Tree. You can no, see, this Russia might work out well, as the Union has moved mostly off of, uh, back towards the top right, of the right hill. Here, right here, right so here. if you can hit concentrated, Squish into our rocks. you might be in a good position here. Let's see, here we got, here comes Knight moving up as well. Time is of the essence. Time is of uh, the essence, yes. The essence of the problem is time, so time is of the I essence. Was, I was stuck in between a, a bunch of hot, steamy men. Oh, sounds like a good time. Direct straight across with all that smoke, boys. I want y'all position one, position two. Take aim, Drew. Take this cover here. Take aim! Position one, position two! Add that smoke, Tennessee. So take aim. Fire! Now, is this all the CSA? It is. It's about half the Union defending it. Now, what I would disagree on the CSA right now is you're not going to really shoot this out. There's no reason not. If you're masked, not to attack and try to wipe them out. Long-range shooting might be able to weaken, but really all you're doing is giving the Union time. CSA now engaged. Yeah, now we up. have Ninth Corps. Yeah, they're right there. Bratley coming down here once more. He's trying to get on the angle here. Yeah, you can see him. Now, previously the Union did this, and I think they got a little bit too strung out. We'll see if they could do, uh, keep it a little bit tighter this time. Here we got 19th Indiana, Motor Aim low. If, frankly, I'd say the 83rd is a little bit too far back. Caddy, yeah, I'd, I'd say you got to move off a little bit closer. Zoo, zoo, zoo. Tiberius is uh, communicating. He can be forward. Up further, up further. Let's go. Let's go. 
Uh, hey! Keep going, keep going, that core. Hi, Ethan. Hi, bye! Hold here, boys. Hold behind you, Ethan. Get your load. Get your load, Snipe Core. So the Union does have the CSA in a box, as you can see, which is advantageous. But uh, again, the danger is if the CSA just globs and attacks forward, can these elements get down there in time? It's going to be very hard for them to react fast enough. I think they, I think they need to get a little bit closer in these engagements if they're going to do something like this. But we'll see if the CSA can capitalize. I wouldn't attack uphill. Um, that's why I'd say this, you know you can afford getting a little bit closer. It is very hard to attack uphill. They are much more likely to attack this way. Just the geography is just so much easier. Dude, that'd be awesome. And they're maneuvering further. Okay, Pratley is moving down a good. I like this moving further down, getting closer. Oh, fire wheel, fire wheel, fire wheel, fire wheel, fire wheel, quickly, quickly, quickly. Get a go, punch go, go, go a little bit. Your shoot. Pull off your shoot. And move back a bit. Pull back, pull back. Pull. Just maybe trying to disrupt them a little bit. Let's see what the CSA says. 1842 is notorious for go slow. Let's go. Gentlemen, let's start. We're going. We're going places. Let's go. They're charging down the hill. Down the hill. Down the hill. And down the hill. There we go. I think this is the right call for the CSA. They're going to hit us in the ass. Oh, are they charging or are they not charging? Perhaps they're not charging. Holiday, Tennessee's hold. I'm hearing conflicting commands here. Where am I supposed to go? Fucking A, boys. Fucking A. You guys did amazing. And now, because they had some conflicting commands there, HL went in by itself. And now the CSA is going to be strung out in this attack. Oh, God. Oh, sorry, wait a minute. But that element up here needs to come down. Or this could all be for nothing. They could still wipe them out if that unit doesn't attack. Get away from my unit. 19th moving down. Not fast yeah, enough. They need to get in the melee. One shot and then get into the melee. If you stop and load, they will swallow this up. Here comes Motelheart. Rest of the Union on top of the hill. Hasn't moved yet. And oh, by the way, here's an intercepting force. They need to wipe this out. Union leaving a lot up here. Behind, behind, behind. Now probably starting to move. 83rd oh, needs to move. They haven't moved yet. And now CSA is getting reinforcements in when you could have had those wiped out. Again, the Union, in my opinion, is too strung out at the moment. We'll see if they can make it work. Get back here, you bitch. Zoom, 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 zoom. Get the flag up, get the flag up, get the flag up, get the flag up. Get the flag up. Look how strung out they are. And you still have a Union element up here. I uh, Maybe, I, I don't I don't get that. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what you guys are doing all the way up there. You're not guarding anything. You're not going to stop anything with that element. That could make the difference, though. And now here comes the CSA with their reinforcements. And by the way, they're faster than the Union reinforcements there. You needed a force there to stop this. But you took too much to try to take this. And you still have all this up here. But, okay, Captain Hood is telling him to get off point. But now he's got half his men down here, half his men up there. And you still have that Union element up there that's... I don't know what these guys are doing up here. And the CSA has taken point at engaged. The Union has to retake it now. And now with the faster respawn, this is going to be very hard to do, especially since half your force is over there and half of it's up here. But you had forces commit that you could have committed that you didn't. And now the CSA, even though the charge was kind of iffy, you know, that should have been easy to take out. Your men were too spread out trying to get those perfect shots. Those perfect shots don't mean as much anymore, guys. What matters is knocking out these units. Getting your perfect volley, taking out six or seven guys, doesn't fucking mean anything anymore. I'm sorry, guys, it doesn't. You're still thinking that way. You're, you're medieval. Game has changed. Adapt or die. Morning, boys. Look at these flags up here. 
12 men per minute. Yeah, no, I, Three flags, so 36 men per minute. Four flags, 48 men per minute. Think about that. 50 guys per minute. Think about that. 50 It's about 200 on each side. It's about 100 on each side. About 120. You know, you're talking the whole team is back in within three minutes. How long it takes you to take? How long do you think it takes you to get up that hill? It's starting, it's starting to add up. <laughs> you're starting to see it. You got it. You can't. You can't do these perfect little. Oh, let's all go. Oh, we got a perfect volley off. So many trees. Let them. Let them know, dude. Sauce. Let them know. Hey, there's another company west. There's two companies. Zoo, zoo, zoo. And to put a fire. And to put a fire. Now all those you troops down point. there are going to get open massacred. On point. There's two companies, one southwest and one west. All those guys are just getting southeast. massacred down here. There's a flag southeast. There they come. Uh, oh, I Now, we do have a maneuver over here. This I like. Who's leading this over here? So, Modal Heart has mover to try to get behind the CSA and try to knock them out. I kind of like that maneuver he did. But, again, it's, it's got to be a little bit more concentrated. There's one stream there. There's another stream there. Why aren't you concentrated? You had all the time in the world to get concentrated. Get out of here. Get out of here, you. And you. You get out of here as well. Get these rappers. I honestly think this might be over for the Union at this point. I don't think they can recover from this. I, this tank trying to get his men going. Tank's trying. It's not enough, though. And why is it still a steady stream like this? this? The attack is over. All you're doing right now is wasting time and feeding them tickets. Commander should be calling this off at this point. Bro, press. Look at all these tickets the Union's feeding to the CSA. CJH loves this. You're not getting that flag back. We need to watch west-southwest, boys. West-southwest. Watch west-southwest. We lost, we lost. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, they're coming up, they're coming up. Keep they're coming up. They're coming it's up. actually good right now. If you could drag some units off a point, that's not a bad thing, actually. Try to drag some pressure off of these guys that are going to have to come up this hill. Your ability to affect the battlefield as an individual unit is highly diminished now. You can do certain things, like Ninth Corps did some very good little individual maneuvers. But if you can't be at the decisive point when the decisive point happens now, your ability to recover from it is very little. Again, four flags. In one minute, one flag is 12 men. 48 men in one minute. 96 in two minutes. You have 114 players. Yeah. <laughs> Think about I that. On the flag like three times now Think about that when you've got to do this on, much. On Let's go. From here. Two and a half minutes, this whole team responds while you are still dicking trying to get up that hill. Yeah, this was always a problem. It's much more of a problem now. You can't hey, lose the these fight. fights. You've got to be there. And you've got to be a part of it. And you've got to be in a position to support it. Now, you do have a couple flags up here, which is good for the Union. They still have some capability up here. But the problem is trying to coordinate with the strung out line down here. And the CSA is being smart. They are staying embedded into this point here. So to be honest with you, if I was the Union, I might consider just doing some long-distance shooting and giving up on this map at this point. We'll see if the uh, CSA makes a mistake. Yo! Here comes 42nd. They're about to get hit by two different flanks moving up here. Charging uphill is not ideal. You see the CSA is waiting to get them. They have very good shots. And they're just mowing them down. 
Now you do, what's good here though, is you did have a follow-up attack by the Union. You have to knock out the flags. You have to knock them out and you have to continue the attack. You can't, you can't be sitting here reloading. Standing here, charge. Knife Corps, get the fuck in there. Hold these rocks. Get in there, Knife Corps. Hold these rocks. Follow Bradley. Follow your leader, go. Charge. Stop standing around, stop loading. He's right, you have, you have to knock out these flags. You got to knock out the Fly CSA barrier. flags. There's way too many guys up here that are not charging down. Oh boys, oh This needs to be gone. This right here. Everything needs to plunge into this. You have 10, 15 seconds. These guys here need to move up. Although they're getting hit now. So all those guys that were up there, where do they go? They needed to knock this out. They're off chasing nonsense over there. Jeff Knight and Lightburn are holding on, trying to keep those flags up. Turn around, boys. Turn around. Turn around. Right here. They're charging the tree. Tennessee to the right here. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Get these bastards! Behind them. Behind us. Now the reinforcements are in here. Now you're probably not going to do it at this point. Fucking kill these little cops. Oh, you missed. Kill them all. Nice, nice, nice. Yep. Let's kill them all. Clear them out. Clear those damn bastards. Look at how fast these guys are popping back in here. You have to decisively wipe them. Is coming in and getting your bayonet and your Get rifle and stay. Shoot, it's shoot. over. You have to, when you have the momentum, you have to finish the job. You cannot leave it half finished. Flag down! Somebody get around that flag! Nobody more down the hill, boys! Down the hill, they're coming. They're coming from down the hill. Down the hill. Watch out, boys, down the hill. Point blank, right there. Now, the one opportunity the Union has is a lot of CSA did not wait to spawn here. They made a mistake. They should have just waited to spawn here, as opposed to spawning over there. That was a critical error. We'll see if the Union can capitalize on it and retake their point. Nice, you just killed two, Smelly. But look how long it's taken for these guys to try to get up this hill. And in fact, wait a second, where are they going? They're not even going towards point. They're heading off to the left. By the time, oh man, oh man, I don't know about this move. I don't know what your intent is. Maybe they're gonna try to intercept these guys? Maybe? I don't know how they know those guys are there though, to be honest with you. Hey, hey, the fuck? Two forty left, CSA is still dug in and they have held long enough for their reinforcements to come in. So that opportunity is now lost. The Union got distracted. Killing a few out of lines that didn't matter over there. I'm not sure if they would have made the difference, but I know that didn't make the difference. Yeah. <laughs> um, All right. Yeah. I think they're clearing them out now. Come on, boys. I'm going be on the line. I'm going be on the line. Actually, it does seem a bit quieter. <laughs> Look at how many men have already gotten back. Now, some of this was reinforcements now, but. Bayonet three loads. Bayonet three loads. Charge! All of you charge! Go! 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 Everybody has to go. Charge! Charge! No man, no man waits. No man waits. Flags coming in. Bow That element should be going in too. I don't know why they're not charging. Again, this steam chat. All right, here we go. Here comes Racer coming in. Where's the rest of his unit? Auto heart, but he's not going straight in. He's kind of going on the side, trying to find an angle. I get. Well, we'll see. We'll see if this works. Into line, into line. Nineteen, hold here. Nineteen, hold here. Firewall, boys. Firewall. So hold here again. I disagree with this. You need to knock down those flags. This whole hold here, I mean, maybe as a respawn point, maybe, maybe that's what he's thinking. I could see that. But um, 
they got more flags than you do up right now, so you're not going to win that math equation. And it looks like the CSA has held on. Oh shit, I'm so sorry. Night they have oh, indeed. I got stabbed, I'm sorry. Night kills night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a night without a night. And again, look how quickly they got their flags consolidated. The CSA right, counter charge, counter charge, understands counter charge. what is going on right now. Oh, oh, here they come on the right side. Got it. Ow. Right there, the up the hill, boys, up the hill. And there we go. The end of the first battle has seen the HL under Wilkes defeat the ninth course under, I believe, Prattley was leading him. Uh, I think Brutus was with him as well. So there we go. The first token and the first battle goes to the CSA in this campaign. Uh, Maryland is always a tough map for the Union, and it, and it has been made, I think, even tougher. Although, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. It's, it's uh, I'm still thinking through all that. What I do know is individual unit actions that are not supportive directly and immediately where they need to be are very detrimental now. Exceptionally detrimental. And you've got to be considering where the decisive point is and be in a position to support the decisive fight wherever it is. So if your action is outside of that, you have to understand, okay, how is this going to affect the decisive point? If you're not, then you're just a waste of space at this point. Anyway, we got one more. I'll see you all in the next one.